All right, hello everyone. My name is Dennis and Dan, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. We play as Galra. We have acquired uh, some territories here, which is fine. We have uh, just uh, integrated Cleves. And in the last episode, we were in a war with Austria. And Austria forced us to break our alliance with France and Bohemia. There's not much we could do because uh, Austria had a giant stack here and no, was, no one was defending us uh, in the war. So uh, we basically just accepted uh, our loss. Uh, Austria then also demanded a Munster to uh, uh, demanded from us that we gave back Munster to Munster, uh, the country. So yeah, that is a shame. Uh, we also accepted that. I want to see if we can try uh, uh, to make sure Austria refrains from attacking us again. Um, yeah, so what we are now doing is trying to get some more allies in our fight against Poland. Now, uh, against Austria, now that we don't have France and Bohemia as an ally anymore. So, we are asking Poland to uh, get in here. Mm, and the problem is that they uh, won't accept an alliance just yet. Almost. Not yet. In the meantime, I also remembered that we do have a quest going here. More ships. 75% of force limit, ship building time and ship cost. It's a bit of a strange reward there, but that is fine. And that will also uh, open up other quests again. And we are uh, somewhat along the way to uh, to there. So let's uh, build a ship here and we'll see what happens. All right, we are uh, building um, our actually relations with uh, Denmark. Because I think that would be a great ally as well against Austria. Or Aragorn, perhaps, because they hate Austria. And they are in a personal union with Naples, so they might as well be uh, pretty powerful, actually. In a fight with Morocco. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's difficult. Uh, we do have, uh, still have uh, royal ties with France. It doesn't really do anything much for us at this point. Let's see, close to zero. Peace plus 10%. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, royal marriage won't work just yet. So now I'm thinking of Denmark instead. You should accept a peace with Denmark. Just ducats to pay. Uh, in the meantime, I'm thinking about whether we should also uh, try and get some more stuff here. Ostfriesland is actually not in the HRE. But it's not near us. Oldenburg likes us, still. Would be great if we could vassalize them. But we can't. Not by a long shot. This war is still going on, right? Yes, it is. How's Austria doing then? Let's take a look at their troops. Still have uh, 35,000 troops on the field. Uh, it's a, such a powerful nation as well in this game. Especially this uh, part here, I don't like. England would be perhaps a good ally as well, but uh, they were nowhere near... Uh, liking us enough to be able to get that to work yeah right as i was saying in the last episode <laughs> this is a difficult position for us and uh, we'll see what we can do denmark is back home now and i think this is uh, also a good time to just uh, let our country run for a bit uh, let all the negative modifiers uh, disappear all that sort of stuff we are making some money at least. Let's uh, drop it even further now. Tensions between nobles and clergy. Jesus lived among beggars and fishermen. Why don't you? So, nine noble regiments. Now I'm gonna go with this. I don't think we would be able to take them on in Mepin, especially. Papal state doesn't like us, so that is clear. But that is fine as well. Don't really care. Bavaria. Saxony. Uh, 
Royal marriage. They would like a royal marriage with us. Ah! National ideas. Ready to go. Here we go. Production efficiency. And now we can actually take a, a national idea. Free slot. Right. Okay, so this is an important moment, I think. Um, I did do some research uh, beforehand. Uh, so let's take a look. I think... Uh, our main problem is at the moment that we have too many diplomatic relations in order to uh, get any more powerful allies. And I also think that vassalizing will probably be the best way to get other uh, territories to go with us. Um, we could try and get ourselves uh, some more armies, for example. But I'm not sure if that would help in any way. Especially not again against Austria. It doesn't really matter if we have like uh, 10 regiments or 15. We're still going to lose. Um, what is important, I think, is allies. And our economy is a bit shitty as well. Let's be honest. Um, and we only have one advisor at this point as well. So, yeah. So, I'm thinking something along the lines of uh, diplomacy or economic ideas. Let's take a look at the economic ideas. National tax modifier, bill cost, yearly inflation reduction, national bank. No. Uh, debt and loans, interest per annum. Centralization. Land maintenance modifier is great. And global trade power. That is uh, amazing. Actually, production efficiency, apologies. And um, what's the end goal? Goods produced modifier plus 20%. Yeah. And um, how about, let's see, influence system. Influence ideas, tribute system, income from vassals. Interesting. Claim fabrication. Yeah. Diplomatic annexation costs. Yeah. State propaganda, aggressive expansion impact. That is nice, of course. Diplomatic influence, uh, reputation... An extra diplomatic relation. And vassal force limit contribution. Yeah. Interesting as well. Trade would be nice, perhaps. Merchants, trade range, trade efficiency, merchants, trade steering, caravan power. Merchants plus one. Uh, how about diplomatic ideas? Foreign embassies plus one diplomat. Cabinet, diplomatic relations plus one. Very nice as well. War cabinet, cost of reducing war exhaustion. Uh, right. Benign diplomats improve relations plus 25%. Experienced diplomats repetition by two. War score cost. Very nice. Diplomatic core. Diplomatic technology cost minus 10. Stability. Low impact on stability from diplomatic action. I think I'm going to go with this. Especially diplomatic relations would be nice. Uh, extra diplomat is nice as well because my diplomats are always busy. Mm. Prestige decay, mercenary, yeah. Administrative ideas, interest per annum, mercenary maintenance, core cost creation, mercenary cost. Tolerance, and national unrest. Mm. Defensive ideas, really army tradition, moral of armies, land leader, land maintenance, fort maintenance, reinforced speed. No, I think uh, it's going to be it. Diplomatic ideas. Here we go. Okay. How much do we need? We need 400. Okay. I can also use that, of course, to... Uh, uh, technologies. There we go. Yeah, we still are not ahead of time, so... That would be nice as well. For now, though... No, we don't have a diplomatic, uh, an extra diplomat yet, so we'll just have to wait. We'll see. How about the rebel uprising? 8.7 years. Independence from Nassau. That is fine. Yeah, I think uh, that's it for now. Mm. Let's let the uh, time tick on. And hope that we can prevent Austria from attacking us again before we have any powerful allies. Aragon would be nice. Still won't be able to get that. Lithuania. Uh, why are we not in Poland? Actually, Poland is already at max. Still need 20 more. So 
So currently that doesn't really help. Can we uh, send a gift? Let's see. can send a gift because we don't have enough money to do so. We'll wait and see what happens once this um, war is over. Austria is losing badly. If only we could have uh, held out a bit longer. There was no chance for us to do so. Uh, yeah. Royal marriage. Offer alliance. I'd like to rifle Utrecht. Vassalization, not possible. Utrecht is allied with East Frisia. It is part of the HRE. Uh, still have a long way to go on the truce. I'm guessing that this is all territory that uh, Austria would like. Yeah. How's Denmark doing? Offer alliance? Royal marriage? Yeah. Almost. This could perhaps work. Still have a long way to go here. Let's see, I'm not sure if this improves. I think it does. Uh, almost month end, yeah. Yeah, it does. Uh, so, an alliance might perhaps be very nice. Although, probably won't be able to uh, offer Poland an alliance then. Yeah, <laughs> nope, let's not do that. Ah, it's such a shame that we don't have friends anymore. And we didn't even get to fight in a war together. Oh dear. Uh, right. Let's see. Annex subjects. Diplomatic repetition increases the chance of having various diplomatic offers accepted by other countries. Right. Okay. Aragon diplomatic relations is done. Still can't offer a royal marriage. So I don't think uh, there was this will. Uh... Well, we're almost there. By two. No, that's not gonna help. Uh, not even sure that if that would help anyway. Yes. Neutral attitude is uh, not helping us. Scotland would like us, by the way. That is interesting. Uh, I don't think that would work in any way. Allied with all these... Uh... Oh, they are allied with France. That is interesting. I think Denmark would be nice. Let's take a look at their army size. Denmark, 16,000. Uh, Norway... 7,000. And Sweden is 14,000. Yeah, so that is uh, quite a force to... Uh, uh, think about... Separate piece would actually uh, disappear over time. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough, though. But Poland would really be important to get into our uh, alliance system here. Is the war over? No, it still isn't. Jeez. Is it? Nope. Right, so let's uh, let our diplomats do some work here. Uh, fabricate a claim on Kuln. Yeah, that would be nice. Aachen is, by the way, also a nice target. Worn by Austria. We are worn by Austria as well. Don't have a uh, Casas Valley. And Austria would come in. I don't think uh, Austria would come in if we would to declare on Austin, of, uh, Munster right now. But well, we are still in a truce. Yeah, so let's uh, speed up the time a bit and then we'll see what happens. I want this war to end. Because I'm hoping that that will uh, get Poland uh, friendly with us or something along those lines. Bohemia accepted peace. Austria will release to roll as a sovereign state. Who 
What's... Okay. So that's actually a big dent in the power of Austria. Let's immediately... Uh... No, we don't have a guy. So how about... Let's let this stick over to the next month. Let's see what happens. Auto save. Nothing changes. Okay. Angels has been uh, discovered. I thought we did have a royal marriage. I'm confused. Do we have a royal marriage with Lithuania? No. Someone die? Weird. Uh, let's take a look at our own country. France, Oldenburg, the Hansa. Actually, we don't have a royal marriage with Poland anymore. And they don't like us enough to uh, start one either. Okay, this is a shame. It would have been so nice to get Poland on our side. How about Denmark now? Royal marriage? No. Almost, but still not. We are close, though, and we still have a long way to go in improved relations. Bohemia still can't do anything until 74. Not much people like us. That is uh, sort of the problem. Castile would be nice, by the way. It's not going to be uh, easy to do. So currently, we uh, are in a bit of a bad position. We don't have a uh, show on country. Royal marriage, Oldenburg and the Hans is all we got. And Aragorn still won't marry us. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. This is all uh, difficult and not good. Um, Bavaria doesn't like us enough. Saxony is too small, I think, to be of really any importance. Pomerania doesn't like us enough. Muscovy is too far away. Savoy, how about Savoy? They are allied with France, Genoa, Mantua, and Urbino. Nah, that's probably going to be too difficult as well. Okay, we'll see. We can uh, take a look at Savoy at some point. Switzerland. How long is the truce? It's uh, three more years. And then we do have a chance that Austria will insta-declare on us. Unless they are in a war themselves. Done with Poland now. Still not high enough for a royal marriage. Whoops, no, no, no. Send gift. By two, no, no that's not gonna help. Let's uh, actually build a ship. Or two. And let's also get this ship out there. Send. Yes, there we go. Yeah, hmm, right. We do have a nice fleet. I think uh, if we build one on a ship, that will allow us to uh, uh, finish the mission. Uh, privileges, legitimacy. We already have full legitimacy. Lose le ten, a national tax modifier. Yes, I think uh, that will help much more. Liege, allied with Cologne. Huh. Casas belly against Cologne. Okay. Interesting, but not much we can do with that at this point, I think. Austria would jump in. And all their allies would jump in. None of mine would. Not willing to join another Garon offensive war until 1471. Fair enough, fair enough. I won't uh, get into a war then. Not sure if this will work, but no, let's just uh, improve relations. Denmark, would you like a marriage? Almost, so close. And then an alliance? Yes, I think they would. Okay, so I think we'll just uh, do that immediately once we get up there. 
if that happens anytime soon. Still have... Yeah, there we go. Royal Marriage. Let's do it. And the Alliance as well. At least we have some kind of pirate on our side now. Uh, yeah, not for Alliance. Okay, there we go. <sighs> uh, did they accept? They accepted, right? Yeah, they accepted. They're allied with Muscovy as well, which is very interesting. So now Poland probably won't want to do anything with us anymore. Well, it doesn't really matter, but they still won't uh, royal marriage to us. Hungary doesn't like us enough. And of course, they are not allied to uh, Austria either. So it's a bit difficult there. Brunswick. How about Brunswick? Allied to Anhalt, Brandenburg, Isfries, and Mecklenburg. They would royal marriage and they would ally, ally us. Uh, how many troops do they have? Brunswick, 9,000. It's probably not enough to uh, stop Austria from attacking us, but would help. How about Austria now, by the way, after the war? 25,000. So currently we could probably withstand a war with help from Austria. Um, Saxony, I want to see how, my, how many troops Saxony has. 9,000. Hmm. Let's get Brunswick up and running. Uh, improve relations. But I'm not sure if we should be uh, allying them. Saxony. Uh, Savoy, I mean. Hmm. Would be a nice ally against Austria. That is fair enough. Uh, is the ship built? No. Right, I think we'll put in a cut now and uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, still... In a difficult situation, but at least we are now uh, changing some stuff for the better. Denmark has allied us, so we do have some defense against Austria, should they attack us. At some point, we might be able to ally France or Bohemia again. And that would be nice as well. Uh, in 73, I believe, in 71, the truce expires with Austria. Am I right? Yeah, so it's going to be a difficult uh, couple of years then. We'll see. Uh, for now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked the video. If so, uh, don't forget to like. And if you like the channel, uh, don't forget to subscribe for more awesome stuff. Right, for now, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.